folks. Well, silly season is over in the United States, the presidential elections. And most likely it will start up again for the next election in four years in a couple of months. That's what we do here. We drag the process out. Well, guess what, folks? Our good friends in Japan, they're having their elections now for prime minister. And the election season there is only 12 days. To which I know a lot of you are probably saying, Really? And as they say in Japan, excuse me, as we say in Japan, Magikaro! 12 days, kids. Can you believe that? That is fantastic. Would we not love that here in the United States to have an election season only 12 days long? <laughs> there were a number of parties seeking the uh, win the election in Japan. And here were all the political parties that are currently running. Now, one of those political parties, the Japanese Communist Party, I have to respect them. Now, you know how I feel about communism. I detest communism in all its forms and its uh, gateway ideologies that lead up to it, such as socialism. But not as much as communists and communism themselves. Now, why am I respecting the Japanese Communist Party? Basically because they call themselves the Japanese Communist Party. No, I would not vote for them. But anyway, I just have to respect that the name they give themselves. Because here in the United States, we have a Communist Party. As most democratic countries throughout the world, they are infested with a Communist Party. And we have one here also. But the difference between the Communist Party in the United States and the Communist Party in Japan is this. The Communists in Japan call themselves Communists. The Communists in the United States call themselves the Democratic Party. Yeah! That's who they are, kids. A bunch of lousy Communists. Yeah, there I go again with my anti-communist rhetoric. Allow me. The communists of the 21st, excuse me, the Democratic Party of the 21st century here in the United States, those are the communists. The Democratic Party of Harry Truman, uh, Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, Johnson, even Carter, uh, and to some extent maybe uh, Clinton, nah, they were not communists. They believed in American capitalism. They believed in the American dream. They believed in America and they believed in what all the ideals that made this country the great nation that we are. However, the 21st century communists, the Democratic Party, they do not like our Constitution. They do not like capitalism. They do not like individual responsibility. All that they do not like, and all that they do like, you can find that in the Communist Manifesto. See? Very simple. But they are cowards. They do not call themselves what they are. Now listen to me. President Barack Obama, he is not a coward. No, he doesn't call himself a communist. But when he speaks, everything that he says fits right in line there. So we're not surprised when he takes his country in this direction because he says it in his campaign speeches all the time. And the more on vote in this country still vote for him. The Democratic Party, USA, is the Communist Party, USA, like the Japanese Communist Party. The difference is they say who they are. Whereas our Democrats here continue to tell the big lie. Hi, right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America that used to be and hopefully will be. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Oh, another comparison between our two countries' political systems. The current Prime Minister of Japan, when he was running for this office, he made promises to the uh, people while he was campaigning, like all politicians do. They made promises. And like all politicians, once he got elected, he did not keep all his promises, just like all politicians who make such promises. But he did something different, which is totally alien to these United States of America. He apologized. That's what he did. He apologized for not keeping all his promises. Now, in the United States, here's what happens here in the United States when a Democrat politician does not keep all their promises and wins the presidency of these United States. 
There's no apology. There's no accountability for all the promises made. As a matter of fact, the excuse given for not being able to keep all the promises, why you just blame the previous Republican president? See? No apologies necessary, and then you assess blame. That's what you do, kids. You blame the previous Republicans. We all know how evil they are. Ha 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 ha.